Okay, I, I, Roadhouse, what the hell was that? Like, it tells you a lot about what Connor's going through at the moment. And I saw that Connor just said that acting was more difficult than fighting. And Joe Rogan had responded to that. You, I watched the film and I watched the film because we streamed it for free. And uh, Jake Gyllenhaal was in it. And Jake Gyllenhaal is notoriously always good, always in good films. So the questions I've got running through my mind in the first 10 minutes is how, big, how bad is this film? How bad is the storyline? How bad is the acting? There's only Jake Gyllenhaal in this that can actually act. The rest of the people, I just, I want, I, what I would really love to know is why did Jake Gyllenhaal take that project? Why did he act in that film? How much did he get paid in order to do it? Because it must have been multiple billions of dollars. And Connor, I mean, the question for Connor is, I spoke about Connor quite a lot because I loved the kind of, everything that he brought to the sport of USC in an MMA, uh, M -M -M -A, but also um, his skill level and ability and his charisma and everything. But he's talked a lot himself and he's a super intelligent guy that everything needs to be focused. So you need to wake up and you need to train at, the, at a certain time. You need to say that you're going to do something and deliver on that promise to yourself. Otherwise your standards drop and the defeats accumulate. And when you start to get defeated in terms of you can't even win the day, meaning you can't even wake up and train at the right time, you can't even eat the right food that you said you were gonna eat, and you're constantly getting defeated by yourself, how can you expect to get into the octagon and beat somebody like Khabib or another world champion or another dangerous man? So that can't happen. So when you add into this the acting, and I thought, you know, maybe it's a cameo or something like that. And then I saw some of the reviews, uh, bad and good, mostly bad. Um, I saw Rotten Tomatoes had given it a 6.2, which I thought was incredibly kind, given the quality of the film. Um, but it's focus. If Connor has got into a certain shape for that film, where he wants to be portrayed well on, on, on camera, well in terms of probably lots of acting lessons, I can imagine they haven't worked. And also the amount of time in those locations, not training. And I don't know when that's happened exactly, um, but the level of focus that you need to be back in the game and be back at your level. And we've talked a lot about this, about Connor having a lot of money, not needing to fight, never needing to fight again, but he's got that winning mindset in, inside of him, which knows exactly what it takes in order to be the champion, the world champion, in order to win the belt. He knows exactly what it takes. He knows exactly the sacrifice and the level of commitment and obsession that it takes in order to, to win those big fights and in order to beat great fighters, he knows that. So the fact that he doesn't need to do it, but he still knows the process and he doesn't do it, tells you everything you need to know. So if you're expecting Connor to come back this year and fight, it's not gonna happen. Dana's talked a couple of times and said, that it's dis and basically been quite dismissive about Connor coming back. When I see Connor in films like that, and the filming might have been done most of, most of it last year, when I see Connor in films like that, when I see him going to clubs and being in the pub and drinking and everything else that it takes not to be a world champion in any sport, it just it's another kind of layer away from where Connor wants to be if he wants to be again contending for the big fights in the UFC. And maybe Connor's big thing, we've seen how money motivated he is, we've seen how ambitious he is. He's already won that game, but to what extent does that ambition go? I think once you've got three, four hundred million and maybe turning that into a billion, I'm guessing that that level of, especially when you've come from a council estate and you've taken, uh, you've taken the dole, uh, income support in the UK uh, or Ireland, you, I, I'm guessing that you know, you, you, you've kind of lost the grasp of what money actually is and how to earn it and what it actually means to earn it. Um, so yeah, I just, the film is awful. Um, it's worth seeing because it's, it's, it's a funny film. I thought for the first hour and 20 minutes, is this a comedy? I, I really thought it was a comedy because it was almost satire, it was almost parody. Um, but the, the kind of lesson that I took away from it is obviously Connor's not interested in fighting if he's getting involved in projects like this. And now I see that he's having a little bit of, he's pushing this. 
So I guess the film directors and the producers and the people around making that movie, including Jake Gyllenhaal, I guess they have thought the amount of eyes that Connor will bring his fans over to watch this film will be massive. So let's get him a part in the film. And then when you see Connor's entourage, the people around him and his management, etc., etc., that's quite a force. You see him walking into, I saw him walking into a, a club today. I want to say Ocean Club in Ibiza. And he's walking like, it's kind of like walking into WWE fight. It's kind of comedy watching him walk in. But that's the level of, it's not a level of confidence. I don't know whether it's to do with the cocaine, but it's, it's just a level of, I'm here, I'm the man, and everybody else around me is bowing to me. And as I've talked about before, there's nobody in his corner who can challenge him. There's nobody in his management team who can tell him, how to, who can tell him no. And that's a dangerous place to be when you're in that position, where you're young, you've done really, really well so far in your career, you've, you've won the game, you could continue and create an amazing legacy for you, like, like for yourself. Like he said, he's all about the highlight reel, and I think he's created a great highlight reel already, but I think he could create an even better highlight reel. We saw what just happened to Francis, um, I can't pronounce his second name, but the MMI fighter who just fought Anthony Joshua and got knocked out in the second round. So that says a lot about what Floyd, or some people are talking about how much that says about Con Con Conor's talent in boxing when he fought Floyd Mayweather. I don't think it does. I think Floyd knows the game so well. He knows that he, he got maybe hit once in that fight. Floyd knows that he wants to put on a show. He knows how to entertain exactly the same as Conor did. Uh, does and so those two together made a great matchup and it was worth seeing until round eight round nine round ten I think I think he got it to eight rounds and it should have been ten rounds So for me take-homes are like Connor's still an entertainer whether he does that on the screen in films or whether he does it in fighting he Should be doing it in fighting. That's what he deserves. That's what the fight fans deserve I think Connor at this stage is more interested in the money and wherever that easy money is coming from maybe that's what he's going for but Roadhouse, I don't know. Uh, tell me what you think. What do you think? In the comments, am I wrong? Was that the greatest film that there ever was? Uh, did he do well? Do you think his acting was good? Or did you kind of think this is cringe? Let me know in the comments below.